our decoy this time. Set up number three of the day. Finally stopped raining enough to get a little more out in the open. Still only seen that one gobbler this morning uh, while we were still sitting the blind out of the rain. And uh, heard one, but he was way off in the distance. It sounded like he'd already headed back to the roost. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon now. So I don't know if because of the weather he was headed back early or what, but this will be our last setup. And if something doesn't come in within the next oh, 30, 45 minutes, uh, that's going to do it for today. 5.41 in the a.m. That's right, 39 degrees. Got on my favorite game guard shirt this morning. Going to put a couple of uh, these three and a half inch Remington loads down the Versamax and uh, hopefully put one upside this Tomboy's dome because uh, this thing's got nine lives. <laughs> Is it too early for Osama jokes? Uh, anyway, today's the day because the wife, well, she might leave me if we don't get this thing done. She's tired of me coming out here. Frankly, I'm tired of waking up at 4 a.m. to drive out here, but I have a good feeling today. Calm day, temperatures are in the uh, upper 30s, but shouldn't be that much wind, and uh, I think we're gonna get it done. Double barrel shotgun, watching my dog run along in no fence road. We're setting the drag for the large mouth bass bend in my fishing pole. Unloading my truck before the sun comes up, where the river and the critters run free. You know it's a given as long as I'm living, I'm always gonna be on the water. <laughs> oh yeah baby finally all of that hard work paid off got a nice Montag County gobbler right here look at that beard that is oh man that is a nice bird that is a nice bird oh <sighs> on the fifth hunt finally got this guy Going to, I'm so excited I can't even talk. What a relief. What a relief. Look at this bird. Look at these spurs. Look at that. Maybe three fourths of an inch there. Look at that. Yeah. There was actually two of them that came up behind me, so that's why you didn't see the nice kill shot next to our decoys out here. But man, I tell you what. He tried to sneak around this bush, and I don't know, you probably could hear him. He was picking up the sound. Oh man. 
Man, oh man, oh man. What a bird. What a bird. <sighs> nice, Tom. Look at these. Oh, yeah. Sure. I am ecstatic. Couldn't be more happy. Been out here at Go and Day Hunts five times with Don, my good friend. And uh, he finally had to cut out today to go get some work done. But I had to put in the work. I couldn't let this turkey win. And today was the last day for me to hunt. And uh, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> oh, Wish all yes, the yes. Cross that old red river, it would open up their eyes. When I wake up every morning, and I look out at heaven, Lord, it ain't hard to recognize. There's anybody out there still trying to figure out exactly where we came from. Well, what this is the fifth day out here hunting with my friend Don Rain Gresham. Going day hunts. Sunset, but after this turkey dog, west, oh gosh, cactus, one failed attempt after the other. Just <laughs> so I mean, it rained all day on, on Sunday. But uh, today we had a beautiful day. And, uh, got the, uh, we got the job done with this nice Tom and you can see he's got a real nice beard here, probably at least eight or nine inches. If you don't believe Last turkey. Yeah. Well I really appreciate it. You no problem anytime. Get you a good bird. Yeah. I'm well, proud of you. Don't believe in God. You ain't never been to Texas